cancer is still curable if as long as it did not spread far or didn't go to uh, distant organs. If cancer spread to distant organ is not immediate threat to life and those patients need to have the proper treatment uh, but for early cancer the cure is very high and we like every patient to be diagnosed in early stage uh, then the treatment is easy short treatment and excellent outcome uh, and uh, excellent cosmetic uh, results excellent uh, outcome uh, good quality of life uh, when we use the current uh, technology of radiation. Uh, um, again, as I mentioned, now we got good technology. So our goal, not only cure cancer, but have good quality of life and uh, good cosmetic results. Good evening, I'm Dr. Akl. I'm a practicing physician and uh, today's topic would be cancer of the larynx. Cancer of the larynx or voice box cancer uh, is uh, one of the common cancers in head and neck cancers and it is related to smoking primarily and drinking. Head and neck cancer related to smoking and drinking by and large. So we ask patients to stop smoking and drinking. We ask general population uh, as a matter of fact, uh, approximately uh, a third to half of cancer could be prevented if patients stopped smoking and drinking. So uh, laryngeal cancer uh, present with hoarseness, uh, sometimes discomfort. A patient will, uh, will have pain, sore throat, and sometimes the pain radiates to the ear or si sides of the neck. Uh, once patients present with cold-like symptoms, uh, they see their doctors and uh, many uh, majority of patients, they just have colds and that's over. However, uh, those patients uh, with cancer, they, their symptoms persist and their primary care physician uh, usually send them to ear, nose, throat specialist who they look in uh, do scope in direct laryngoscopy and sometimes a fibro optic scope to look at the voice box, and the larynx, and the vocal cords, the, uh, the supraglottic area, which is the upper part of the vocal cords. They look at the pharynx and the larynx, basically. And uh, once they identify a lesion, they biopsy such a lesion. Once this came back as cancer, this patient has laryngeal cancer. We uh, look at the larynx, which is the voice box. There is two vocal cords hit on each other, so we, we get the voice. If the vocal cord is not at sharp, it will, it will have a nodule, then th the patient will have hoarseness because there is no good tone. So you will see those patients has hoarseness. Their voice is hoarse. Uh, they is not clear, you know. Uh, so the ear, nose, throat specialist look, find a nodule or a mass on the vocal cord. They take a sample of that mass. They send it to the lab. If it came back cancer, then what is the treatment? As of today, the good news is this patients got excellent chance of cure. Uh, and the, the, with radiation treatment. And the treatment of laryngeal cancer, early stages is radiation. Early stages treated with radiation. And the chance of cure exceed 90% plus. In the old days or traditionally, if those patients undergo laryngectomy, meaning removal of the voice box, those patients breathe from a hole in the neck and they can talk. Those patients talk because basically the trachea is hooked to the neck. So the mouth is not hooked to the trachea. And the uh, patient uh, learn to swallow air and regurgitate the air. We call it esophageal speech. So they swallow air and regurgitate. And you will all see those patients put something on the uh, neck, upper neck, and they get sound like a microphone microphone and that basically those patients they swallow air and regurgitate 
and that's esophageal speech and they learn that so their esophagus upper part learn how to act like a voice box so we try to avoid removing the voice box as much as we can for early laryngeal cancer uh, the treatment is the radiation for early stage 1 and 2 we call it T1 and T2 the chance of cure is very high and uh, patient do not need to undergo removal of the voice box for more advanced stage 3 and 4 uh, in the old days and some centers still doing it they remove the voice box we call, they call it laryngectomy uh, more uh, recent studies to suggest that uh, just uh, radiation and chemotherapy as upfront therapy will be appropriate thing to do because certain percentage of patients will be cured as upfront therapy for those patients and if those patients failed then yes uh, we have no choice but to remove their voice box at least a patient uh, need to offer the option of preserving the voice box because uh, it's excellent quality item and uh, as we always say the main advantage of radiation is preservation of the function of the organ like the tongue the voice box uh, uh, the external internal uh, genital area and uh, uh, skin limbs uh, and so on so we we always offer patients uh, the uh, cure uh, through uh, with, without the cost of sacrificing important organs uh, in all days we used to do uh, limb uh, amputation and now we do the removal of the tumor plus uh, giving treatment rather than remove the entire limb and so on so uh, the trend now is to uh, cure patient no compromise of cure but uh, also we try to to do some quality of life we need to keep the quality of life and that uh, larynx is an excellent example of that radiation uh, as the upfront treatment for earlier laryngeal cancer uh, preserve the function of the voice box without compromise of cure and uh, uh, treatment is easy patient come to radiation on a daily basis and uh, they get some side effects temporary which is uh, some sort of throat irritation the good news is these side effects will disappear completely and the patient will regain their uh, uh, their uh, their uh, sw their uh, function without compromise of cure <coughs> Uh, patients with laryngeal cancer, patient with voice box cancer or laryngeal cancer, once they are treated, they must stop smoking and drinking. If they continue to smoke and drink, there is high chance of this tumor to come back. Also, 20% to 25%, they will get a second cancer in the lung, in the esophagus, and so on. And those cancers are more serious than their primary. Uh, majority of patients understand and they are in compliance because that's very important point once those patients are treated they are followed up regularly to make sure this cancer is not back and as I mentioned earlier for early cancer the chance of come back is, uh, is very small and the cure is the rule so laryngeal cancer diagnosed treated with radiation early stages high chance of cure no stop smoking stop drinking to prevent it from coming back and to prevent second cancer good evening i'm dr akla i'm a radiation oncologist treat cancer in flint today's topic will be tongue cancer tongue cancer as well as head and neck cancer related to smoking and drinking we ask our population to stop smoking and drinking as I mentioned earlier that uh, about a third to half of cancer will be prevented if we stop smoking and drinking patients with tongue cancer they present with a mass sometimes painful sometimes this mass is bleeding in the tongue 
in early stage. If the cancer is neglected, sometimes the, the, the tongue mobility is limited because the cancer grow and fix the tongue 